Hello everyone, this is Keen from Keen Strains and Northland Rail Productions. Today we are going to be doing a brief exploration of the layout and how it has progressed since the last time we have uh, discussed it. Um, it's come a ways, uh, still a ways to go of course, and uh, I'm already planning my next layout which is going to be at least three times as big, four times as big. Um, this is a uh, 8 by 10 layout, um, hoping for a uh, 20 by 30 or bigger uh, someday, and uh, planning that right now. So to take a look at the layout then, which remains obvious, uh, there's the veterans unit, just did a review on that, you've probably seen that video, if not, you can uh, see that. So here's where uh, the station is, and the three tracks where the station is. Um, also use it for a switching yard, since I don't have any other room to do that. Um, with the uh, Amtrak ticket sign, Union Station sign got moved. Um, it wasn't lighting up very well because the connection was bad with the, with the triangular roof there. So I had to change that. Uh, hopefully get a Union Depot at some point to replace that, and then move that depot out. Uh, into the countryside is somewhere. And then of course bus station, the Amtrak sign, billboard. So here's what's new. Move the church from the other place. We've got the post office. There's going to be a gas station there. Diner here. There's the controller. But here's what's new. Um, those of you have probably um, had one of those easy connection crossings or when a train went over this section here. The crossings would go down automatically. Well, that's what these are. And there's two of them. So, I uh, fixed them up. I put them here on display. They were kind of broken. That's where this comes from. Right here. Uh, these were broken sections that I glued together. Turned out pretty good, actually. Um, and then on the bottom, they had a little notch in them. So pushed them in and then kind of screwed them in. And then they stand up pretty good. Um, so makes a good decoration. Well, hello, Catzilla. Come on up. We'll get to that in a minute. So here's this. So, and then electrical store, um, savings and loan, firehouse, a power station, and a whistle stop. Um, recently bought a uh, green elevator that's going to go there. Or that water tower is. I'm going to move the water tower around a little bit uh, somewhere else. And uh, then we can have uh, where the grain cars will be loaded. Also, I bought new uh, platforms for the station. So, this is the only section, by the way, that does not have ballast whatsoever. Here, the ballast is laid but not glued down, and then the rest of the layout, the ballast, has been laid, glued down, and uh, dried, so it's ready to be used. Um, it's all flex track, code 100, um, cut and uh, fitted to where I put it. Um, obviously a little, not the greatest to work I suppose, but could be better. Over here, went to the uh, Great Train Expo this past weekend, I'm sure you've seen the video, and uh, these cars up to here are all from the train show. So, they're out kind of getting their runs in, just to see how well they work on the tracks. Here I've laid fresh grass, and over here, still working on that though. Um, and here's a railroad crossing. And over here as well. Move the signal. The signal now governs the station. Green or red. I got some trees, there's the uh, switch for the signal. Here's the old controller, which runs the uh, signal. Here's the lumber. 
here's KFC, the yard tower, and then some trees and other miscellaneous scenery. Yes, that's rail, and yes, that's a spike. Um, over here are the DCC equipped locomotives. Oh, there's a few more which I'll get to, uh, including this one. Uh, this one, this one, and that's it. And then, of course, these are other locomotives that I own. One of the most prized ones is the uh, 400 right there. Um, I've ridden in that locomotive before and even uh, sat in the engineer seat. So, thanks to the uh, Transportation Museum. As so, well, uh, Catzilla, well, her real name's Tootsie, but I call her Catzilla because she roams around. Um, she likes to perch and watch the trains. She's mostly harmless. Minus maybe stealing a tree here or there. So here's the locomotives. Non-DCC equipped. Obviously have to get uh, decoders for all of them. And they're all mine. I don't intend to sell any of them. Um, except maybe a couple of them. But that will be on eBay. And uh, you'll have to look. Um, my eBay, by the way, is Kian McGarvey, no spaces, all lowercase, um, and I'll have a link in the description for that. Um, I'll definitely be ramping up with the holidays coming up with stuff. So this one's a relatively new acquisition, by the way, from a, uh, Atlas, I believe. I have to replace the uh, ditch lights and the headlight because all of a sudden they went dim, and... Uh, they started bright when I tested it, and then all of a sudden they went dim, and now they won't come back on bright. So we'll have to fix that. Get new LEDs in there um, with, once I put DCC. And then it'll look real nice. And I like it with the ditch lights. Walther's has one without ditch lights, and that just looks a little weird to me. Um, of course, the F40 is hit and miss there. And then, of course, here's the vomit bonnet. SD70 Mac, uh, one of only a few locomotives that don't fit the time frame of uh, the layout era. Uh, these two also fit that description. Um, and uh, I have that one just because it was rare and it's cool. So anyways, here's the uh, grain train spur. I'll have an operating session here in a mm, coming up soon. Not exactly sure when. Probably within the week. Um, within the week or at some point. Coming up soon. There'll be a f lot more. <laughs> there'll be a lot more. Uh, model train thing. Stop eating the tree. The tree didn't do anything to you. Nice kitty. And then there's that. So, also, um, obviously it's November, changing the calendars um, the end of the year. Got a new Amtrak sign. Um, about a couple months ago and then I'll show you some new magnets that I got for the magnet board I got some more pictures to hang up um, I got a uh, photo collage featuring the real engine I was involved in a photo charter from the real museum so that was pretty fun so now if we go under nothing wiring except the uh, controller there yet um model railroader trains so on and so forth and here's the magnet board uh, new magnets include rock island conrail shoe line csx Wisconsin central burlington route santa fe burlington northern mm, chicago northwestern wabash and the frisco um hope to add more eventually as time goes on so that's just your little random tidbit there. So here's the layout from afar. Small. 
you definitely want bigger as time goes on. Um, and that's that. So stay tuned for a uh, operating session. Uh, more than likely, might do a short one this week, but uh, definitely going to do one um, in January. Because I'm going to hopefully have all these buildings done by then, including the new stuff that I got from the train show. Um, that'll put together after the holidays. I'm going to get these done first. And then uh, be a little bit more realistic, lay some more grass down. Um, it's a work in progress, of course. Um, and it's a working mess, of course, too. So, until next time, this is Ken from Northland Rail Productions and Ken Trains. Formerly Camming Films. Um, thank you for watching and putting up with my poor speech. Um, we'll see you next time. Until then, happy rail fanning. Stay safe. God bless America.